What's good? This is your boy Ray Commentals, and to Dunfin, I'll show you how I connected my Beringa USB mini mixer into my laptop, how I did the settings and everything. I'm finna show you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, this is my Beringa Xenex Q542 USB mini mixer. So, this is the power right, right here. This is the power, it's like this. I think it's, I don't know how, how many volts it is. Let's put that back. Uh oh. Yeah. And then this is the USB port. It's a USB mixer. Let's put that back. And then here are my headphones. Switch this off. And then he, here are my headphones. I put them right here. On phones. phones then this is my mic this is my mic put it right there it only has one channel for the mic and then the port comes all the way to my laptop it's right here put that back Then I, I, I'm going to, to show you how I set this here when I want to record my quality vocals. Let's put everything to zero for now. And the balance straight. This is the phones. This is the headphones volume. It's on zero. You can adjust it. And then this, this is this is the main mixer. This is for the speakers. Let's put it on zero and then now let's go into the computer and then I'll show you while capturing this site also. So now, now we are in the computer and then I'm going to show you how, how first, how to find the USB mixer on your devices on FL Studio. So uh, the first thing we do is we go to options, click options and then we go to audio settings. So we click on that and then we go to device, there's, there's input and output, we go to device you can see the mix sites here speakers 3 usb audio codec that's the mix it means it's reading and then but then for us to record we cannot press there because that's that's only the output they, there's no input that's only when when you want to make beats and then you want the like sound drivers to come from the mixer straight not from the computer you press there and then if you want to record you have to press fl asio FL Studio Asia or, or Asia or V2, but then I use this one. You press there, and then you go to your to your what do you call to your mixer. And then you press here where there's post. Then you go to FL Asia Mono. Don't go to stereo, and then you click in one into it's up to your mic which one like plays left and right because some they just play right only or left only and then you press that and then now i'm i'm going to show you, i'm going to show you how to equalize on the mix so like your vocals can sound like good like this you know what i'm saying like it sounds good so let's get into that now So I'll be speaking on the mic and then while equalizing here so you guys can see. So the, the first one which I have here, it's the level one. It's level. Now I'll take it off. You can't you can hear me. But then I suggest you put it on the middle. Don't put it all the way out because it will sound like this. And it's just not good. So you put it at the middle. And then the next one is pen. It's whether you want your or mic to like record on the left hand side or the right hand side only. You understand? So you know, like, so you have to put it on the at the middle still. And then the next one is is the EQ. So let's put the low one. Yeah, yeah. So like all the bass is gone, like it's just the like high frequencies only. The low frequencies, the bass always. And now let's put it back. Now you can hear that like my vocal has too much bass. And then we put it at the middle. 
it sounds good you know what i'm saying so now let's go to the high frequency which is the twitter and now it's gone like there is no twitter it's just the bass only and then we put it at the middle sounds good then we put it all the way out it just has too much twitter and then you put it at the middle sounds good and then the last one we have this one called gain when we take it down you can still hear me but low 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 low, low without like background noises so this is good it's, it's up to you if you want to uh, put it at zero and then you like increase your volume on the fo studio because now the mic has like much quality no background noise and then when we put it at the middle it's loud but then you can hear this background noise because right now I'm, I'm in my room so now we put it all the way that's not good you see it's this post thing and then there's even like the clip there so like we don't need that distortion so that's how you set your mixer this is for the mic only this channel for, is for, for the mic and then the other things you should know yeah when when you record you have to have your your, your phantom power on it has to be on or the mic will just be you have to have your phantom power on you have to put it on phones on phones they must be on phones and then the main must must be off because th this is the speakers it will cause that sound and then this is your volume must be at least around here it's up to you it's up to the beats up to the song and then the main mixer which is the mic also when you when you switch off uh this 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 the speakers the main mixer becomes the the volume for the mic you know so i just put it at the middle and then that's it so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh yeah yeah that's it guys thank you for watching the video until the end don't forget to like subscribe and share the video check out some of my videos i have some videos re related to these tutorials how, how to make these I, I have my songs i have many things on my channel because i'm a content creator i'm not the beat maker only i'm a content creator so see you next time until then stay safe and stay at home